This video is brought to you by fishhuntshoot.com. For more and bigger trout, go to fishhuntshoot.com. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. Let's talk salmon fishing. Let's talk river salmon fishing. It is September 24th and the fishing is getting a little bit better. Incrementally, it's improving a little bit, you know, every day, every week. Um, it's not great, but uh, there are salmon in the system and guys are catching them. Let's start off low in the system and uh, then work our way up towards redding. And that's where the best fishing is. But let's start off down in Benicia. Um, Benicia and then, you know, up, up the line in the Freeport area. In both those areas, shore casters are catching some salmon. Um, you gotta put in your time. As I said in last week's report, it is the fish of a thousand casts. Um, you just wanna get out there. You wanna be throwing a MEPS Flying C or a Blue Fox Spinner. You wanna cast that, that spinner kind of up and across current, get it down to the bottom, slow roll it in and repeat and repeat and repeat. Um, you wanna be using some fairly stout spinning gear, you know, uh, spooled up with like 30 pound test braid, something like that and uh, there's usually some folks around that have big old nets, but you should probably take a big old net too because if you throw that spinner enough, you're gonna hook up and down in the Benicia area, those are super high quality fish. They're just out of the ocean, they're beautiful. You know, the average fish is probably 12 to 15 pounds, but fish up to 30 and more pounds are possible. Guys get them every year and uh, if you're out there casting, you may be the lucky guy to hook up. So keep your tip up. Keep the drag fairly loose and uh, fight them to the net and take them home. Um, boat guys. Boat guys trolling in the Delta. They aren't doing a whole lot. Further upriver in the Sac Metro area, the fishing's a little bit better. There are some fish being caught in the Delta, but again, it's, it's really hit and miss primarily due to water temperature. Those fish are just blasting right through the system. The water's warm, and uh, when the water's warm, they wanna get right up to the redding area where the water is at its coolest, and that's what's happening. Um, to hook a salmon in the Delta, it, it's gonna take some luck. You gotta get that a spinner if you're trolling spinners or a flatfish, if you're trolling flatfish, you gotta get that right in the strike zone of a salmon that's moving through. And uh, you know, incoming tide is, is, is better than the outgoing tide typically um, you know they say dark the moon is better than a, than a full moon um, but the bottom line is if you're gonna get out there and troll for salmon you're gonna need some luck a good strategy in the Delta and I mentioned this last week is to get out there troll for salmon in the middle of the tide and at the ends of the tide you know during the prime striper trolling time bust out those Yoziris and get after some stripers because the striper bite it's been very good and it's getting better. Um, fish up to about 24 inches are being caught consistently um, all the way from Collinsville up river. Um, the usual spots, guys are hooking stripers. Some guys are getting limits of stripers and we're starting to see stripers in the San Joaquin too. But since I'm focused on salmon, we'll stay over in the sack. Um, the striper trolling in the San Joaquin is equal to and sometimes better than the trolling in the Sacramento right now. But uh, if you're looking for salmon, the Sacramento side of the Delta is the place you wanna be. Moving up into the metro area, you know, guys are trolling the same rigs, they're trolling the spinners, they're trolling the wrap flatfish, and they're also trolling the ba uh, Brad's baits. Um, that is typically really good, um, really good for high quality fish late in the season, November, December. That's the time that the metro area really shines, but guys are catching fish out there right now. Um, there have been some reports of shore anglers scoring at the mouth of the American, but from what I understand, most of those fish, and there's not a lot of fish being caught, most of those fish are being snagged, um, being flossed, um, <laughs> however you want to describe it, by guys throwing uh, long leaders and beads. But uh, that's what I hear. I don't have any pictures. I haven't seen it myself, but that's what I hear. Um, Feather River, there's no salmon in there. It's low, it's warm. There are no stripers in there. Again, it's low, it's warm. That could change, but it's low and warm and there just aren't any fish there. American River, pretty much the same story with the exception of the mouth. Um, up, up the line, it's low, it's extremely clear, it's warm, it's, it's just not happening out there right now. Now, 
we get up into the more traditional salmon waters north of Sacramento, not a lot going on in the Calusa area, but we do start to see salmon getting, getting hooked, you know, kind of north of Chico, Woodson Bridge, that area. Um, that area isn't as good as the, as the real northern portion of the river, but guys are catching salmon out there every day. And that's more, you know, the traditional North Valley salmon tactics. You want to start out early in the day, back trolling flatfish, large flatfish, wrap them with sardine, put a little bit of crawfish meat on there, work that pattern for the first couple hours of the day, and then switch over to row. You can boondoggle row, you can, you know, vertical bounce row. But if you put in your time, you're gonna get some fish there. Some of the fish are chromers, some of the fish are dark fish and they're pretty beat up. But uh, you know, boats are getting anywhere from like one to three fish a day out of Woodson. Not great, but definitely doable, worth going if you know how to fish the river or you wanna take a guide trip out of there, you're probably gonna get some action. The best salmon action in the state right now on the Sacramento system is you know around the barge hole. It's uh, it's combat fishing. There's gonna be a lot of guides out there, a lot of locals out there. That's where the salmon are kind of starting to keg up. And again, kind of the same pattern. Work the uh, the flatfish, the quick fish stuff like that early. Back trolling. Um, and then when that when that action pinches out, you could do that all day. But once that action pinches out, you might want to spread out a little bit. You can keep playing with the plugs, but uh, you definitely want to break out some row, you know, give them a chance to take some row, mix it up. But the barge hole is the most consistent area, you know, going right now. Um, big fish up to about 35 pounds. Some of them are dark. Some of them are what we call semi-dark. Um, they look a little dark on the outside, but they cut really nice and clean. And there are some chromers in this system. So if you got your, got your heart set on catching a river salmon, the barge hole is the place to go and uh, if you don't have a jet boat if you don't know how to navigate a river like that spend the 200 bucks jump on the boat with a guide mike bogue jason thatcher kevin brock kirk porter carrero i mean oh those those are you know for the for the most talented guys that i can think of right off the top of my head those guys will all give you a great trip they will go go through the utmost effort to put salmon on the end of your line. The key thing to remember, if you go with a guide, ask questions, do exactly what they tell you, and when you get a salmon on, or even when you get a salmon to bite, it's your time to execute. Years like these where the salmon fishing isn't great, every single strike counts, and you don't wanna have a missed opportunity. So. Be clear with the guides, ask questions, and then execute to the best of your ability, and that will really stack the odds in your favor of hooking and then landing a salmon. For a big, hard-striking fish, salmon can be surprisingly hard to hook, and they can be very difficult to land. They fight hard. You don't want to give them any slack. You don't want to thumb the reel. You want to listen to the instructions of the guide. It can get chaotic. The guide's going to be working the boat, keeping you vertical over that fish. Listen to the guide. You don't want them to get into the motor, under the boat, stuff like that. It is a fun, fun day. If you've never done it, well worth the $200 or $225 that they're charging these days. And uh, you are very likely to go home with some salmon meat, either for the barbecue or for the smoker. Um, that's, the, that's the salmon fishing scene for now. I wish I had more exciting action to report, but hey, it's salmon fishing. They're big, they're beautiful, they're hard fighting fish, and this is the time of the year when we get them. And things should continue to improve. Um, from what I hear, the flows on the upper Sacramento have been stable at just above 6,000 CFS. And those, those flows are expected to ramp up in the coming days. And that means it's gonna pull more fish up the line. And typically ramped up flows are gonna improve the fishing all the way down the line. Remember, when we see ramped up flows up in the Redding area, it takes four to five days for those ramped up flows to hit the Rio Vista area. So there's a little bit of lag time there. But if they do indeed ramp those flows up, it's gonna improve fishing for everybody. And I'll tell you what will really improve fishing for everybody, if we get lucky, keep your fingers crossed, if we get lucky and get one of those really wet, 
really kind of hard charging Pacific storms that hit us sometimes in October and you know put a bunch of fresh water in the system the salmon fishing can go from slow fair to good very good very quickly as soon as the water clears so keep your fingers crossed if we get a big storm things could get very very exciting but regardless we're gonna have productive salmon fishing right up to the December closer um, October is a good time it's a good time to get a mix of chromers and dark fish later in the season predominantly dark fish but some very large fish and of course those those late run fish those are the best eating fish in the entire system there's left uh, less of them but those are those big chromers you see coming out of the sac metro area in late november early december stuff like that so there you have it guys if you want to get a salmon get off the couch and get out on the water that's the most important thing. That is the first step to success. If you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking for fishing gear, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm Cal Kellogg.